tutorial, we're going to describe the life cycle of an Android activity. Now, when you start up an activity on your phone, to you it looks like as soon as you press the start button, the activity starts to run. But in reality, several procedures or methods are executed before the activity starts running as shown in green. When the activity first gets started, it calls the one onCreate method. After the onCreate method finishes, it goes to the onStart method and then the onResume method and then the activity actually starts to run. Have you ever wondered what happens to an activity when the activity is pushed to the background or if it's stopped altogether? We're going to describe some of these scenarios and we're going to talk in particular about what functionality should go into each of these methods. Consider for example the difference between the onCreate method and the onStart method. The onCreate method is guaranteed to run only once per, for the life cycle of the activity but the onStart method is going to start again each time the method gets stopped and restarted. Can you think of some functionality that might belong in onCreate but not in onStart? Well, how about if we wanted to create a splash screen? The splash screen is those screens that you see that show a little advertisement or maybe a little publicity for the app when the app first starts up. Usually we only want to show the splash screen once when we start up the activity and never again. So the splash screen would be an excellent example of something that would be placed into the onCreate, something guaranteed to run only once per activity. Now let's consider this onPause method. What might we want to put in the, the onPause method? Well, let's say we had an activity that consumed significant amounts of battery life because it used a lot of the device's sensors. Would we want these sensors to continue firing when the activity had been paused? Probably not. So it might be a good idea, for example, in such an activity when the onPause method gets invoked to put the sensors to sleep and then when the activity gets resumed we would want to reawaken the sensors again either on restart or on resume. One other one thing we want to mention here in terms of these methods is that the on resume method is slightly misnamed. Uh, looking at it you might think that it only gets called when the activity is resumed but learn us here that when the activity starts up it is one of the methods that gets called for the first time through. Now let's have a look at how one of our Android applications might be able to create each of these methods and insert different functionality into them. Here is an, a compass app activity which creates a compass that always points north. Notice that the onCreate activity has already been created here and we're doing all the initializations for the app right in this activity. Now let's say we had some functionality we wanted to put into the onStart method. Here's how we would create the onStart method we could go into some of the white space inside this class and then we could right mouse click and hit generate and then we could say override methods and now we would see all the methods that are possible for us to override here we want to make sure that the A to Z tab is checked which will alphabetize all the methods and then we simply scroll down until we find the method that we want scrolling down a bit we see that the on start method is right here clicking on this and hitting OK will call on Android Studio to bring in this method for us typically we would do a call to the super on start method inside our on start that would ensure that all the things that needed to get done in a regular Android activity on start gets done we could put our additional functionality right underneath or if necessary just before so in summary Looking at this Android activity lifecycle diagram, we see that all these methods shown in gray give us unprecedented control as the coder in terms of placing different functionality into different points of the Android activity lifecycle. 